Climate change is currently one of the major challenges that mankind has had to face in recent times. Although climate change is considered a scientific and technical phenomenon, it is above all a social issue with profound implications for social justice and gender equality. The woman is highly, highly uh, affected by the climate change issues because they keep on talk about water. They travel long distances to get water. Climate change will impact on socio-economic development of the country and invariably it will also lead to uh, uh, issues of food security and the rural women generally and even including the urban women are the ones squarely responsible for uh, fetching water as well as looking for uh, firewood for cooking. Africa as a continent would bear the brunt of the impact of climate change, the most due to its dependence on natural resources and rain-fed agriculture, coupled with a high level of poverty and a weak adaptive capacity. <laughs> Nanga here we are dealing with the culture and culture is not uh, one thing that you would uh, uh, just use one policy statement to clear culture it has to do with education and it takes time to educate the, the whole community to come up uh, and embrace uh, development. One of the challenges is that uh, some farmers were, were kind of hard to accept the changes that are already happening. Some of them deem the, 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 the changing patterns as something that uh, has been there in, uh, since time immemorial. They don't associate uh, the changes in rainfall patterns as uh, something that is real. Uh, most of them say that if it doesn't rain today, it will rain tomorrow. So uh, the main challenge was trying to actually tell them, tell them that this is happening and you also need to change and adapt to the changes that are happening. Wa mazai wa mepatia wa mama uhuru, wanafanya kasi, na hata pia naelesa ujule ambawa aja padu wanafunga funga mama. Taka kuelesa ya kwamba, eh, mama ni, mu, ni, 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 ni mkono wako mgine. Ningependa tu kwa imisa, wasikae tu chini na kuongojia wase wana jaribu kasi kama ukulima eh wasikae tu wakiongojea wa mase wa wape pesa ama wasaidie kwa njia nyingine tujitoe kwa hii kasi ya kilimo na tujiweke bidi kwa sababu inatusaidia kama jamii thanks to the intervention of the women environmental program web mrs hana akpo like many other farmers in the region receive training in compost manual production. In addition, have been empowered with skills in poultry farming in order to supplement her income before the harvest season. How you been do he dealing with compost? Be what they do. You are going to be so young, compost, nature, too. Every nangy, you should be yassy, 
He do he again have a cave so even my we use compost. Now have a kai momonte. Now I'm pande. Boamte. The adaptation strategies differs one locality to another and across population, economic sectors, and regions, as evidenced in the cases of Nigeria and Kenya, which have made significant strides in gender and climate adaptation. In Nigeria, the focus was on agriculture, rural energy alternatives, and water and sanitation and hygiene. While in Kenya, the focus was on the shift from pastoralism to agro-pastoralism on the other hand, crop diversification and water harvesting. Beleni atuku kwa tunachua biashara kabisa, lakini vile alilete sweet potatoes. Hiyo sweet potatoes akatubeleka mbali. Atuku kwa hata tunakula, lakini vile alikucha haba hii eneo yetu, tukapanda, tukapata tuka pesa na tukakula. Nyasi nilimwaka nilipanda mwaka wa 2013. Na hiyo nyasi imefanya saizi mifugo yangu imefanya mzuri na imepata nyasi kwa wakati ya kiangazi mimi si watu waliamisha ngombe na mimi si kuhamisha. Sasa nimepata kuna niko na utafauti na wakulima wengine. Saizi ile hatua nimepika nime nimeona nimefaidika sana. Kasi kaa kwa niki ruegi. Na sasa kaa kwa niki unaigia. Uhuo gane siglo ikuleke. Si senda gap. Kuleke kasi na gap. Hata hiki ya gbeifule. So ile sita cha tu. She <laughs> Alone a melu cam, Lula Heli Yazans, and Hingonka Mamlue. Fatio Zuana Qua, me, Cosum by Ega Hatch, Malufamo, Ula, Saolo over no, Saolo over no, Saolo over no. Kulingana e Miradia Yakari, Tilona Lakama on the Quan and a Fassi. Tanasana or Sikaya Sana, while I work you find a follow ups, or Fundishue, Natinga Qua, Nanika Bisaka Fundisha Hasa, or Kinamamavetu, Quafile, or Mega or Mapatayo, or Vatayo Mafundisho. Na tunataka bia wapata saidi kulingana na kulingana ile idadi wako na ya sasa. Also the gender policy itself helping uh, to address women's engagement in renewable energy and the issue of the cooking stoves, affordable cooking stoves that is uh, amenable to use at the grassroots level. There is the need to focus on the issues of renewable energy, especially with the climate change effects. Let's empower women to play active role in this climate change issue. There is a huge potential for us to create jobs, to reduce emissions, and to be able to meet up targets and save the environment. You need plants that produce alternative cooking fuel so that people can have access to cooking fuel that is safe. Like briquetting plants, for instance, would be very, very good and then we will also want to have um, access to irrigation. Also, when you are teaching people um, alternative skills uh, to um, farming, they, you have to, they have to go through the training and after that you need to give them starter packs. If um, persons and organizations partnered with government, government, it will go a long way to help government to make some of these interventions possible. At global level, resources are really required because for these women, for the research community to get out to them, 
for technologies to be packaged specifically for these women. As we say, many of the things have been done at a, at a very general way. It's only when we go to the ground and did the analysis of the communities that we realize that there's a niche to promote the women. Then from the global perspective, as climate change talks go on, let's not forget that the woman also needs to feature in there and be allocated resources to be able to continue doing what we are doing. Therefore, it is incumbent on global decision makers to focus more on and promote adaptation mechanisms to enable Africa build strategies for resilience and subsequently attain sustainable development goals through capacity building via technical and organizational skill and appropriate technology partnering between government and private sector, designing gender responsive adaptation policies and funding availability.